Welcome. In this session, we're going to go over some introductory concepts in differential equations. Differential equations is not just another abstract mathematical concept that you need to learn as a future science, scientist and engineer. In fact, as you will soon see, differential equations are the language of science and engineering. So by the end of your study of differential equations, you will be able to confidently answer what is a differential equation, where do they arise, and why you should know how to solve differential equations as a future scientist and engineer. Simply stated, a differential equation is an equation describing a relationship between a function, and that function can be a temperature, a velocity, a population, and its derivatives. And recall what a derivative is. Loosely speaking, a derivative describes a change in a quantity. In fact, most problems in science and engineering involve derivatives, that is, changes of a certain quantity. A very simple and familiar example is Newton's second law in one dimension. As you recall, in one dimension, the net force is equal to the mass m and the acceleration a. You might ask yourself, well, where is the derivative? Recall that the acceleration is the time rate of change of the velocity. So we can write Newton's second law as f is equal to the mass times the first derivative of the velocity with respect to time. So this is what we would call a first order differential equation for the velocity v. We can extract another differential equation from Newton's second law. Since the velocity is the time rate of change of the position vector, Newton's second law can be written as the following differential equation, as f is equal to the mass times the second derivative of the position x with respect to time. Differential equations arise from our study of physical phenomena. And how do we study physical phenomena? It usually involves several steps. The first being to identify all the variables that affect the phenomenon under consideration. Consider the case of a skydiver jumping out of a plane. The motion of the skydiver is actually governed by Newton's second law. In this first step, we need to identify the forces that are acting on the body of the skydiver. In this case, two various, very obvious forces would be the force of gravity and the drag force. Once all of the variables are identified, we build our mathematical model. The mathematical model is what we would call an idealization of physical reality. Why is it an idealization? Well, we often make assumptions in science and engineering. Oftentimes the assumptions or approximations help simplify our models. Can you think of any? The final step is actually the solution of our differential equation. This can sometimes be involved, but sometimes it's actually quite straightforward. Sometimes our differential equation will be um, a function of the first derivative, while at other times the physics involves higher order derivatives. In the next video, we will look at a few motivating examples to really get you interested in your study of differential equations.